Did Danny just whoop R. Kelly's ass in jail? And why is Bill Cosby smiling in his latest mugshot? Folks, we've got some prison news and it's coming to you here today on After Prison Show. <laughs> After Pew, 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 pew. Prison. I wonder if the Danny joke was too soon. And folks, when were you going to tell me we need an intro? I'm kidding. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to After Prison Show. And today, I want to share with you guys two pretty crazy topics in the news today. Do a little clout chasing. Yeah. Something we haven't done in a little while. Where's Takashi at? Well, he's not going to be in this video, unfortunately. But what I do want to do is I want to bring you guys some news. We've got R. Kelly and Bill Cosby both in the news, folks, and it is crazy. Well, it's pretty damn crazy for why at least R. Kelly's in the news. I don't know too much about the whole Bill Cosby situation. But regardless, let's go ahead and die. <laughs> I was going to try to hit like a Die Hard mixed with Ace Ventura hitting the rewind button, the instant replay. Oh God, I love to act. Hell of a dive scene right there. Head first up into this video because I forgot the rest of it. Folks, R. Kelly's in the news right now and it's not for good reason. In fact, he just recently got his ass kicked up inside of the jail. Something that I did not predict was gonna happen to Kells while serving time. Now, for those of you who may remember, we've done our fair amount of clout chasing off of R. Kelly, Bill Cosby, O.J. Simpson, and Takashi. When we first addressed what was R. Kelly gonna be like while locked up, what was he gonna be like? What was his time gonna be like? You know, I never really said that R. Kelly was gonna get his ass kicked, and that's because I didn't really think that that was gonna happen. One, when you're a celebrity, yes, you are gonna have enemies and people are gonna wanna get at you. They're gonna wanna peel your wig back to the white meat just for bragging rights. And R. Kelly, like, you know, so many of these other celebrities that we just mentioned, those four other people, they all had some pretty bad charges. Maybe not so much the bad, bad charges, but R. Kelly does. He's got those type of charges, actually. The fact of the matter is, is when you're a celebrity, that just intensifies the fact that your time could potentially be a little bit more difficult with people wanting to get at you. But with the fact that R. Kelly is a star, to most, I believe I can fly. Trapped in the Closet and so many other hit songs. Golden Shower, is that a song that he wrote or was it Golden Eye? I think that was just a throwback to the N64 right there. With the fact that a celebrity status is definitely gonna make it a little bit more difficult for you, the flip side of the coin is usually you got money to be able to pay for protection and maybe you don't even gotta pay for the protection. Maybe that just comes free because of who you are. Hey Kells, listen to me. Let me spit something for you and hit your record label up. You ain't got no record label no more. Hey, get him. And he can't even make commissary. Yeah, I heard R. Kelly was broke too, so that's definitely not gonna be a good look. But getting to this story that just happened, it just made the news at least, R. Kelly got his ass whooped in prison by a Danny stunt double. I don't know if that's horrible to say or not, but the guy kind of does look like Danny. And aside from the fact that they're both Hispanic, there are some other similarities as well. Let's go ahead and look at this picture of the assailant right here. Check out this guy. More importantly, check out how many teardrops this dude's got on his face. This dude legitimately got the golden shower tattoo right there on his face like a little bukkake. I don't know if that's anime. Probably shouldn't say that, but dude has a lot of teardrops. What do you take a I can't even say that joke. That joke would have been crazy, but I got to tone it down just a little bit. Dude got a hell of a lot of teardrops, and he's also a Latin king. If you also notice this other tattoo on the side of his forehead, he's got a crown. Hey, you dropped this king? <laughs> no, you didn't for real, but you got it tattooed anyways. But again, real quick, just to reiterate, this is the guy that whooped R. Kelly's ass and nobody, not even the staff, raised a finger or at least that's what R. Kelly's lawyers 
are alleging. Didn't they try to get him out on COVID too? And that didn't work. And I don't want to play the devil's advocate, but I do. What if, conspiracy theory time, R. Kelly's legal team hired this Latin king because nobody else is going to hire him. A little bit of a joke right there. I'm kidding. Everybody deserves a second chance. Most everybody. God, I'm going in on this video. What if it was R. Kelly's legal team that hired this guy to whoop R. Kelly's ass just to have some kind of leg to stand on in the courtroom? Get my client out of the jail. Nobody did anything. Not even the staff. He's not safe there. You better hope you never committed a crime with R. Kelly. He ain't got shit to lose right now. If he's hiring people to whoop his ass, he gonna tell on you too. Let's also take a moment and address who this Latin king is, and he's certainly no stranger to the heinous. This guy's name is Jeremiah Farmer. I think he's 39 years old. Yep, he is. And this guy is locked up for some pretty serious stuff. The story says that Farmer, a member of the Latin Kings, was convicted last year of racketeering a conspiracy related to a 1999 murder of a 74-year-old individual and a 67-year-old individual. He was initially charged with beating the men to death with a hammer at their auto business. Didn't Takashi have a racketeer in charge too? Pretty sure that he did, and he's out. The story also goes on to say that Farmer, who was ultimately relocated to a facility in Michigan, I guess that's where R. Kelly is at, identified himself. Oh, no, wait, maybe they did that after this attack. They had to separate the two. This guy, Farmer, identified himself as Kelly's attacker in court documents. He also wrote that Kelly let out a horrifying scream. I believe I can fly. Get them off of me. I'd have loved to have been a fly on the wall just because I'm just weird like that, just to hear what that horrifying scream sounded like. Probably sounded like bloody murder. He wrote that Kelly let out a horrifying scream during the assault which transpired in Kelly's cell. What this story is really about is the fact that R. Kelly got his ass whooped by a Latin king who kind of has some similarities with Danny. You're probably wondering, Joe, when are we going to get to that? One thing that I forgot to mention was this guy, Farmer, has a tattoo on his head, not cop killer. He's actually got F the feds. Pretty close. Pretty close. But you know, no matter how heinous this guy, Jeremiah Farmer, is for beating two men to death with a hammer, and no matter whatever happens to him, you know, he's always he's going to have some clout that he's going to carry around forever. And that clout's going to be the fact that he whooped R. Kelly's ass up inside of a jail cell. The story goes on to say that the guards, you know, there's a lot of speculation as to whether or not the guards allowed this to happen, but whether that's the case or not, maybe Kells had a beef with the staff and they sicked this dude up on him. Get him, Jeremiah, get him. Hey, King, you dropped this. I'll never get sick of that with this guy with the crown on half of his forehead. Maybe he fancied Burger King. You know, at Burger King, you can get you a crown too. Speaking of which, I am starving. Do I look like I've lost any weight also? I'm over two weeks of no smoking, no sodas, and no chips. Instead of chips, no bullshit. I'm eating carrots. Oh, God, I hate my life. Hate it. Ooh, when did I get a message? Let's go ahead and move on to the second Fallen from Grace celebrity story making this video, and that is in relation to old Bill Cosby. What was his nickname back in the day, like America's favorite dad? Not anymore. Bill Cosby is in the news, all over the news. Literally, I searched Bill Cosby and Fox News, the Philadelphia Six, TMZ, Yahoo, AJC.com, don't know what that is, the New York Post, Fox 8, Fox 2, Fox 10, TMZ again. Every news organization is on this story. They're covering it and we have to cover it as well. Folks, Bill Cosby just took an updated mugshot and in that picture, he's smiling. What has he got to smile about? We're going to be talking about that here today on After Prison Show. After Prison Show. Somebody make me an intro, please. I mean, I know we ain't getting that many views, but you know, we could really use one. Maybe that would help. Let's just go with the first story, Fox News. How they popping up first? Boy, they got some major pull. Bill Cosby's new mugshot trends on social media as he appears to be smiling. Who, honestly, 
cares. Now, I will say this. I'm going to throw him straight up under the bus. Little boozy badass tweeted yesterday, free the man. Free the man, Bill Cosby. He innocent. Boozy badass, you can't be saying nothing like that. At least I don't think you should. Should Bill Cosby be freed? Geriatric release at that? The man is 80-something years old and potentially senile. Let's talk about why Bill Cosby smiling in his mugshot today on After Prison. <laughs> After. I'm sure you're tired of that. It was probably funny the first time, not the third. I get it. Let's go. On Tuesday, the prison released a photo of Bill Cosby's mugshot. Why? Just because they wanted a little 15 minutes of fame for no other reason at all. Because the man was smiling. He is 83 years old. He is probably senile dealing with some form of early on stages of dementia, if not in the, in the mid to later stages of that. The man's probably going to die in prison. Hate to say it, but it's probably the truth. And who knows if he even really realizes that he's even smiling. I guess playing devil's advocate, we could say maybe Bill Cosby fucking likes. I actually bleeped that out myself. Like I said, like I just mouthed it. Likes being locked up. Who knows? Maybe it was commissary day. Maybe they called him out to take this updated mugshot. Why did they have to do that? Maybe that's something they got to do every year, every two years, however long it's been since Bill Cosby's been locked up. I think it's only been a year. But let's read the story and see what else they have to say. I bet you it was commissary day. Or Bill Cosby didn't even realize he was in orientation getting a mug shot taken. Let's see what they say, though. He's been sentenced to three to ten years. Yep, we know that. There were 400 women who came forward. Yep, we know that. In the photo, Cosby is looking down as he appears to smile slightly. The man didn't even crack a full grin. He might have just been thinking about something he saw that morning on Dr. Oz. Why, why does it matter? The man is doing his time. And I'm not taking up for him. I just think that they're making a mountain out of a molehill with this story. But here we are making a freaking video about it too. But we're addressing it for the right reasons. Like, there ain't much to this. Then again, you never know. Maybe he just got a letter from that newest pin pal and she said she was going to send that. In the photo, Cosby is looking down as he appears to smile slightly. He's wearing a maroon shirt and a mask around his neck because of the corona. There's really nothing else to say about this story, is there? Was it commissary today? The picture divided social media with some sympathizing the aging actor as others remained steady in the belief that justice for his victims was served. We ain't got to read no more about this, folks. I ask all of you, why do you think Bill Cosby was smiling? Let me know down in the comments section. And also, what do you guys think about old Kells getting trapped in the closet? Except instead of the closet, it was his cell. And it was Danny number two who whooped his ass. Folks, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I look forward to hearing what you guys have to say about all of this. And until next time, enjoy life, the free world. Never take a moment for granted and make the most of every day. Peace! Yeah, that's funny the first time.